Hi, Eric. Good morning. Good morning. Who here has a dog or a cat? Raise your hand. Cat. Wow. Cat. Almost. Oh my gosh. I have a cat. You have a cat? I have a dog. I have a dog. So I have a dog. many people. Two dogs. Yeah, Two dogs? I have a cat. Is this your dog here, Lady yeah. Ruby? Yeah. Oh my gosh. What's her name? Yeah. Is she nice? Yeah. yeah. Well, she is a rescue dog, um, and it's very important to make sure that we know how to take care of our dogs and cats. So we're going to talk a little bit about what it means to take care of your dog and cat today, okay? We're going to learn a little bit about what these things are here. Who knows? Raise your hand, okay? Who knows what this might be used for at the veterinarian? Yes, go ahead. In a blue dress here. Yes. Go ahead. What is this? For your ears. Okay, now uh, raise your hand again. Who knows what this is called? Mm -hmm. Who knows what this is called? Anyone? It's a tough one. It's called an otoscope. And guess what? When you use this button here, a light turns light on. on. Yeah, who sees the light inside? Eee. Yeah, so that means you can see inside your ear. So <laughs> yes, okay, we have to raise our hands when we speak, right? Okay, um, so we have to raise our hands when we speak, right? Okay, um, so who knows what we might find inside the ear? Raise your hand. Yes. Um, some cracks. Some cracks, yes, it could be some cracks. How about you? Yes, Leia? An ear infection. An ear infection, that's right. So it's so important, it's the same reason you go to the doctor to have your dog or your cat's ears checked, because did you know that there could be bugs living in there? Yeah, yeah. isn't that gross? Yeah. Bugs living in your ears. That's yeah, and your dogs and your cat's ears. You know what they're called? <laughs> ear mites. Ew! Ew. <laughs> Disgusting. Okay. Okay, so look, we can use the same thing and we can put something else on top. And guess what? It turns into something else. It still has a light. But raise your hand if you know what this is used for. Anybody? Yes, go ahead. Hair. Hair. Hair? Uh, close. Let's see, it's something else on your face. But oh, it's, it's, for your it's, it's not for your ears. It's something else on your face. Me. Ruby. Uh, no, no. Yes? I'll give you a hint, okay? What, is, what am I pointing at? Yes, it's for your eyes. So this one's called an ophthalmoscope. So remember, otoscope and ophthalmoscope. There you go. Okay. Who knows what this is used Please. for? I know. Yes. It's for your mouth to see what's in it. That's right. That's right. And who knows what it's called? A stick. A stick. <laughs> Close. It is a stick, but it's called, what is this? Tongue. A tongue, so it's called a tongue depressor. So it's used, so when we're looking inside a dog ear or kitty's mouth, we can move things out of the way, and so we can look at the teeth, or we can look inside the mouth. It's called a tongue depressor. So you put it in the mouth to see what's in there. And why is that important? What do you think would happen to your dog's mouth or to your cat's mouth? Because what if it has sugar bugs in it and it doesn't need to brush your teeth? That's right. If there's bugs in the, in the mouth or, you know, let's say, what do you do every morning to keep your mouth clean? Uh, let's brush, brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. And what do you think happens if you don't brush your we dog's teeth? Sugar teeth. Sugar That's bugs. right. Cavities, remember, raise our hand. That's right. So it's very important to make I sure you take your pet in to have the vet check it out and make sure that their teeth are clean, right? Yeah. Do you think that you would be healthy if you had dirty teeth with bugs in it? Yeah. No. So we got to do the same thing for the dogs and cats, right? Yeah. Exactly. And one more thing. Who knows what these might be used for? Raise your hand. Me hands. Raise your hand. Yes, in the purple shirt back here. Chloe. Chloe? For your ears, exactly. You have a question? I have these new light up shoes. Oh, wow, those are really cool. Okay, so let's see. Who has a question for me about being a vet? Who has any questions? Raise your hand. Yes.
That's wow. right. That's very smart. That's a big, big word. This is a stethoscope. That's right, they're sharp. You want to feel how sharp it is? You want to pass, pass it around? You can pass it around. Okay, pass it around. Feel how sharp these teeth are. This is from a dog's mouth. This is from a dog's mouth. What do you think these teeth are used for? Somebody raise your hand. Who, who do you know what the dogs use their teeth for? Yes? To what? Yes? To eat, that's right. And the teeth in the back, you know what you use these back ones for? Biting and chewing. That's right, and eating. So if they chew on something, those are the teeth they use. What I have in my hand here. Who can guess? Bones, that's right. Where do you think this bone goes? Where? Yeah, but what's this right here? Which one do you think this one goes to? Shoulder, that's right. And do you know what? If your dog or your cat is, is kind of moving funny, what test do we do to check their bones? Raise your hand. X-rays. X-rays, that's right. And, and what does the x-ray tell us? Oh, they must be broken or not. Very good, you are very smart. Good job, everyone. I'm very impressed with all of your answers today. Any other questions? Any other questions? Me. Yes, Ruby. I want to go Elvis vomited. Elvis vomited a long time ago? That's true. <laughs> that was, uh, he had a little upset stomach, right? Yes, Alba, I remember one time Elvis um, ate something that was little. Yes. So you got to be careful if you have a dog or a cat, that's a good point. And you have toys, guess what you have to do in your house? You, um, you clean them up. Clean them up yeah. and, and put them away. Them. Yes, because what would happen if your dog or your cat yeah. swallowed one? Anyone ask? <laughs> raise your, wait, raise your hand. Anyone know <laughs> what happens? Know. Yes. Why your hands, please? Yes, Blake. and the, the birthday dude, your shirt, yes. Wait, he could talk. Yes, they can choke. That's right. If they eat something like that, they go and they go choke and they can even have to have surgery if it gets stuck in their belly. Could you imagine your dog or cat having surgery? That's scary. Yes. This dog, <laughs> this dog has a history of eating the things that she should not eat. She's eating a corn cob and we had to go inside with a camera and take the piece of corn outside of her belly. And I have it on a video. You gotta watch us on Facebook and Instagram, okay? Ask your mom and dad to show you that video. You all have been amazing. What Thank do we say to Ruby so and Leia's daddy? Thank you. Awesome.